shall be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Look Jim. down at someone else uh, or say because they smoking cigarettes or whatever the case may be. But we got our own shortcomings that we yes. need to deal with and try yes. to figure out why we're not walking in what we need yes. to be walking in. And that's what our focus needs to be. Not in pointing out what somebody else is not doing wrong. Yes. Hence, prodigal son. They want yes. us to look at what somebody's not doing correctly. But we need to look at why are we, why is there a gap in our armor? And Amen. obviously there had to be armor because if it wasn't to miss some things that we was going to have to go through experience or defend against, there's no sense in us having any armor. If once yes. we got him, we're good, then why did he even have to talk to us about armor? That's there for a reason. Yes. So is why there, is this gap? No, What's the gap? To me, if Some there's a gap, then has the kingdom been preached? Yeah. Well, well, I think there's a, you remember that book that we read? That guy said he had more unbelief than, than Smith Wigglesworth had. His unbelief right. was greater, so his, his deeds were less. And what we have been programmed to is to disbelieve what the word says. Just like, and, and when we process information that doesn't come from God, then it manifests in sin and death. And that's what happened basically in the garden. Eve and Adam processed information that they got and acted on that information that they didn't get from God. So the question that he asked them, who told you were naked? He never said it to them about them being naked, so now they got information yeah. from something else. Yeah. And, and look, 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 this is what I'm Let's make out. it personal. Let's <laughs> make it personal. Let's make it personal. Why, 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 why do we have a gap? Why do I have a gap? Yeah. Why do Lee have a gap? Why do Pastor have a gap? Why does, you know? Let me ask it there. Answer. Let me tell you why I got a gap. See, I made a, a see, you, you got to spend some time thinking about this thing. You got to be constantly letting go, asking God questions. See, if you ain't satisfied, you gotta act like you ain't satisfied. See, yeah. I ain't satisfied. Amen. I'm thankful Amen. for what God has done. I'm glad about what he did in my life, but I am by no means satisfied. I know that it's Jesus, more. when I look at that book, I'm saying on the day of Pentecost, this is what Peter said. Peter said, this is yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we should be satisfied until we can put, get in the mirror and put in our lives and say this, is and then put to the scripture, is that. Is that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I can tell you why why it's not with me. I can definitely tell you. And, and, and I'm like uh, uh, Bishop, I often uh, measure myself against the work. Often. And I'm often asking God. And what I've come to learn is that my life and those surrounding me at this particular time, like my wife and my children are, are as important. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to let go of that, even though I know that if I fully engulf in this word and what God has for me, then they should be taken care of. So it's kind of hard of letting go of that, which is, those things that are are in this world that are considered under my authority. The cares of this world? Can, well, yes. Bottom line, yes. Because my, my wife is the care of this world. My, my son is the care of this world. Uh, their well-being is the care of this world. Uh, things that I like, for instance, golf is the care of this world. So, yes the cares of this world interfere in that manifesting completely 100% in my life. That That is the gap. That is the gap for me. It really is. Yeah, and you know the scripture that talks about when this rich young ruler came and said, Jesus told him to sell everything he had, and then he talked to the disciples and said, those who have given up all shall receive those things <laughs> back. Yeah. Okay, so so I I agree with you, but I think he 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 wants to give those back to you. He just want to make sure you put them in the right balance, right? What goes first? Well, is it is it a balance? Is is or is it? Or I mean, the, the, the disciples they just I think, I think gave that, up everything and just followed Christ. They I mean yeah. left their families, everything. Boom, 
I'm gone. I'm with him. I think and and I look that. at that. You can do that without physically separating from some things. Uh, because we're in a kingdom, our actions are are dictated to us by the king. Uh, the experiences of our lives don't necessarily have to be so different from what we had initially. They just have to come from another origin. Uh, uh, you know, so you yeah. take care of your family, or you take care of your wife, your sons, and stuff like that is in alignment with the kingdom, and, 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 and even a sacrifice life for the Lord. Because it says a man that was, does not take care of his own household is worth an infidel. So that part of your ministry and even your service to God would be that. But if you put that in front of him, if you say, and as one preacher did say, if I lost my wife and family, if this cost me my wife and family, I wouldn't do it. So that was misalignment. But for you to take care of your family is to bring glory to our God. So that, I, 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 for me, it was for, me? for the initiation of the act of why am I doing this? Uh, where is God standing with this? For me, I would have to agree with the scriptures and that I would have to say it's uh, it's uh, unbelief. And, and I may say I believe, but 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 do I believe like I say I believe? I would say it's unbelief. It's a measure of disobedience, unbelief, and, and just what the scriptures say. I mean, I, I can't I can't I can't put it on anything other than that. Amen. I, and I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, I agree. Because here's my, here's my confession. Now, now, Brother Johnson earlier, when I first asked this question, said it was a matter of ignorance. And then, brother, and then Brother Hill came back and said it's a matter of programming. And I think my problem is a combination of both. Well, let me show you why. See, the scripture, see, I believe that every day of our lives, we are walking in faith. Every day. Amen. We are walking in faith. The problem is, is, is the source that's speaking to us. Come on. See, every day of our lives, we're taking action. We're taking steps and measures of faith. We're obeying something. My problem has been that I didn't understand this, the part of the ignorance. I didn't understand that I should be willing to be, be brought to a place where I look and trust that God is going to speak to me yeah. about any given situation. Uh -huh. I don't have to get into a situation and come up with an answer. Uh -huh. I don't have to get in the situation and be trying to figure this thing out. It's I got to come to this situation with a trusting heart saying, okay, God, you know, you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Yes, you know, you know, you know I'm blind. So, mm -hmm. hey, so. And then I have to, in order to, to, to develop that and encourage it, I got to cut off a lot of this programming that is anti-Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in this program is what we fail to realize is that we are hearing voices and obeying those voices all the time. Mm -hmm. So we got we got to cut off. The, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and another day will not follow. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, so we got we, we to realize that Satan has realized he's going to respond to a voice. God yeah. has created him in such a way that he has no other choice but to respond to a voice. If right. I can get him, they go to speaking. And if he ain't disciplined, I can get him to hear me. Mm -hmm. His flesh is already against him. Yes, sir. You know, you know what, brother? I said on that one scripture. That this is one that covers the what you talked about, sir. Not to walk in any condemnation. If you read the uh, twenty-six uh, through thirty. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm like that brother said, Lord, I believe, but have thou my unbelief. Yes, 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 yes. amen. Okay, this is uh, Mark 10, 26. Yeah, do, do 24 to, to 31. I'm sorry. Okay. And the disciples were astonished at this word, at his word. But Jesus answers again and said unto them, children, how hard is it for them to trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished out of the measure, saying among themselves, who then can be saved? <laughs> and Jesus looking upon them said, with men, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, 
all things are possible. Then be Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospel. But he shall receive an hundredfold now, in this time, now. houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecution, and in the world to come eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Amen. That's the one just address that comment you just made a few minutes ago, is that you, you're not, no one condemnates that you have not left, given of all, you're doing that for the gospel's sake. Yes. And he still And saying, I understand that. Yeah. I, I do understand. Well, well, um, that, what I was mostly putting at is, is basically bottom line, uh, is what we're talking about is unbelief. Yes, that unbelief is. that that yeah. will be this. Yeah. Like we were saying, under uh, uh, unbelief that you know, if if <laughs> if right. I give up those yeah. things that I think that are important, uh -huh. that I will get exactly. those things that, yeah. that are important. <laughs> um, and, and and that that's truly it is it is it's basically bottom line, bottom line. Go right back to the scripture that we yeah. started off with yeah it's unbelief and what i what i got out of the more important thing else is when when jimmy made a statement this day, today and last week is when you move something a title out of the way you know that somebody else had a revelation of and see what god gives you a revelation of. i'm saying is that you was caught, you you had tapped it from the beginning, even last week. It's, it's not so much about what aspect of the gospel we talk about. The real critical piece was abrading them because of their unbelief. And the fact is, you got that by reading it. Mm -hmm. He's trying to say, y'all, all of us, as we study the scriptures, as Bishop was saying, is. What is God revealing to you for that moment at that time of the scriptures that you're reading? And if somebody is teaching you that or preaching you that, they may just gl glance over that. You may not ever get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're just sitting in a in a in a pew and someone's preaching, they can do exactly what the thing said, the prodigal son, and just pick up on the one son. Uh, yeah you know and just preach on that and you never going into the scriptures for yourself right not look at the sun that day right so it is imperative that you get into the word so you can develop a conversation uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh with god and, and for you to understand what god wants you to understand not what man wants you to understand right right in other words, all of us important. It just said if I like I like what the day those scriptures, they brought it down that your because you said it when you said it again today, it really, you know, came a revelation to me. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on the wrong thing. <laughs> Last week I was like, oh, okay, I heard what he said. Got the other brain, got it, no problem. <laughs> then, I heard, then I heard the other brother talking about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, that's it, that's critical. And I, and I heard that, but my mind was sitting there saying the whole aspect of the gospel. But God is saying, no, listen what that brother just said, you today, because you repeated it. And then Bishop broke those scriptures down. Those scriptures, you agree with me, focus right back to that yeah, scripture. Definitely, they they found it on. It had all those components in it. Yes. It's that kingdom of God. It's a kingdom of heaven that just said, preach the gospel, but they had unbelief in them and they could not enter to his wrath. Amen. And that's why Jesus upbraided them. Glory to God. Ain't that something? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, fun. Jimmy, does that make sense what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, it was amazing that you move something out of the way, you'll see how God is leading. God is one led us to the at least for me 
the point of being able to hear his voice and hearken to his voice is to understand that God was talking to you, Brother Addison. Yeah, and then like what you said, you 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 you, you don't get that in and of yourself. No. You <laughs> like don't. what Jesus said. You can get that from me. No. <laughs> And it was so clear that you said it. I was like, to me, I don't know if you caught it, but I caught it. Like, it's just, it's just a, this is the spirit of have you check on different things. You know, yeah. different things is a, a, a pop up and just be uh, obvious to you or or grab your attention. Yeah. You know, and I do believe that that is the spirit uh, trying to get your attention. Yeah. About a certain thing. Yeah. No, uh, it, it 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 happens. Uh, it's happening more often than not. It teaches you again. It goes back to the same underlying uh, position of, of pre premise that they're teaching you what to think, yeah, and not how to think. Um, yes. You have to you have to always want to think critically on your own and mm -hmm. allow your own self. Or again, just be open to the spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. What to whatever because. If we if we if we read that passage again, there's some other points in that same package passage that if that's what the God wants revealed to us at that point, because what's going on in our lives may be highlighted in our reading and, yes. and we, we get a different revelation from it at that particular time. So again, a lot of times it's depending on what is God trying to tell me from what I'm reading in this scripture right now. Amen. What is He saying? Yeah. And not what somebody else told me He said, or what somebody else wanted to talk about, or yeah. if I'm using that for a teaching. Yeah. I may use it just for the point that is making that goes along with my teaching. Yeah. But there's so many more other aspects in there as well, too. So, in other words, you talk about the full gospel. I want to be able to get the full counsel of God so I understand yes. the scripture from all the different things that's being touched on. Yes. Especially uh, what brought about this question and what yeah. the answer was specifically talking about, what was the subject. So, it's just one of those kind of things that, again, it goes back to... Um, uh, being taught what to think or how to think, and I and I and I think part of the programming is when we allow people to teach us what to think. Yeah, yeah. and then I, and like you said, the other piece too is to be we want to learn how to hear from him. Yeah, I, and that, I think that's key because the, the, it's dynamic. It's always a moving, fluid situation. Nothing that we encounter is going to be exactly the same. Exactly, so, it's living. It's yeah. alive. And yeah. that's what was going through my mind. The word, the word is this. There's a letter what is written then there's the spirit yes sir. Amen. what's entailed in there and, and, and it takes the holy spirit to reveal all truth yes sir of that word so yes, it's the revelation that the spirit gives when it's needed Woo. so I, I i truly believe that that that's that's what that's the dynamic that we experience on a regular basis yes sir. And, and, and the, the, holy, the holy spirit truly reveals the hidden mysteries that, that are in these words that are written i, I truly believe adam had an open conversation with god in the, in the garden and i believe that's what really happened it reoccurred when jesus christ was reestablished when jesus christ accomplished his works at the cross the same relationship communion wise uh, uh communicative i guess communication that he had in the garden is the same place we're at right now yeah, and, and that that's, it's kind of funny because it's subtle. It's so subtle to say, like, man, I'm really talking to God. Then, yeah, He's really talking to us. He is talking. We he live to hear Him. Yeah, and that's what Jesus said to Peter. He said, "Boy, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you." Yeah. Hey, y'all realize we just had this discussion before, don't you? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why not? We just had this discussion before. Yeah. And now here it is, we find ourselves inside a pandemic where we're back to the discussion. <laughs> and so I don't know about you, but, you know, I, I want to have the discussion as many times I need it. I want to be upbraided as many times I need to be upbraided. Amen. <laughs> Amen, man. Amen. Until finally the light comes on, I realize. I so I, 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 I've been making some very uh, critical notes, man. And I, while we were talking, I got some light on the verse, man, that I think I, I, I just flat out misunderstood. Ooh. Now, I, I quoted that verse from Galatians chapter 5, verse number 6. And that verse said, You want to bring it up? You can bring it up. 
And see, that's why I say ignorance is a, is a contributing factor because a lot of times what we find out is that we 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 got the wrong interpretation on the wrong meaning of the verse. I shouldn't say interpret. We got we've taken something to be truth that is not true. Mm -hmm. Now that this text says, "For in Christ Jesus, in Jesus Christ, in the kingdom, neither the circumcision availeth anything." No uncircumcision. But faith yeah. which worketh by love. Which is what Elder was that like God was telling using the elder to talk about. Bring it bring love in it. <laughs> but un unbelief, unbelief is a showstopper right here. Yeah. Woo now let me ask a question. What that verse talking about? When you speak the term circumcision, uncircumcision, I think he was talking about the state of the, the, the Jews to uh, the Gentiles. Yeah. Okay, so in other words, he's saying, this is talking he's about saying this thing is not a, a circumcised man or uncircumcised man. This Faith. thing is just talking about the human element, period. period. Faith. Yeah, okay. By love. Work is by love. Okay, what else? Talk about the faith workers by love. Yeah, love is a is a foundation. Yep. God is love. So basically, but, but listen now. But, but the first says, "Faith which worketh by love." By love. Yeah. So you 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 can't without God you can't have love. You got to first you got to have that, and then. Without that love, you can't have faith. Yeah, faith. Uh, you so, can have it, but it won't be effective. It, well, it won't be. It, it, it won't be the. the it won't the, manifest. It won't manifest the kingdom. Right. It will not manifest the kingdom. So. So it says faith without works is dead, right? Uh -huh. so, so if there's no working of faith, then it's dead. There's no. There's no evidence of it. D. It, it, this all boils down to, to, to the to, to the Great Commission, or whatever you want. To call it. <laughs> I think it's all or, 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 or what you want to call it, um, and that that is reconciling souls. Reconciling hey, so, so that's what? that's what it boils down to: reconciling souls. So, in doing so, it's letting you know that first of all. Do my love. <laughs> you, first of all, you got to know God, who yeah. is love. Amen. Amen. And then you got to know what God did because of God's love, and that was He gave His Son, uh -huh. which is 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 love. Yes, sir. And then without knowing that the unconditional love that God gave for us, we can't truly love ourselves unconditionally. Mm. And until we love ourselves unconditionally, we can't truly love another unconditional so we we got to first know what love is love is God and so and in, in learning what love is then we can practice faith which is sharing the gospel wow. the faith well, now, well, now, is now sharing the gospel because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god okay and so faith is those things hoped for the evidence of God that that which is not seen. Okay. So that that's all that is letting us know is that it takes the love of God to share the gospel. Mm -hmm.